Hi guys, for this next lesson you guys are going to paint using different foods, drinks, seasonings, anything that you can pull color out of it by adding water, okay? So this is just an example of some of the things that I did for, for my example here. Um, the supplies that you guys are going to need is a paper towel, okay, under your paper, your sketchbook, which will be your paper. You're going to have to have a, a utensil to paint with. So if you have a paintbrush, that's great, but if not, it's definitely okay. I use Q-tips for these. Um, you can also roll up a piece of paper towel or a napkin and just use the edge of that, right? So this part you could do. Um, and then you guys are gonna need either cups or little dishes. I have these little dishes, so I use these, but to put your ingredient in, to add your water into, and then also just clear water. Okay, and you might have to switch the water out every time you change your ingredient so that you don't get it mixed in, okay? You want clear water every time you change it. So a couple things I did here were um, paprika, um, chili powder, taco seasoning. You guys could even do like a Goya seasoning if you have that. Um, make sure you ask your parents before you grab any of the seasoning so you're not just taking it from them, okay? Um, I had coffee and black tea, which is just, I steep the tea in here in a tiny little bit of water to get it as dark as I could. Um, one of them I did was I broke off parts of a candy cane. Oops, and I just splashed on. And um, that was one of mine, and I soaked it overnight in water. Okay, and then basic food coloring is really the, you get the best results out of it. But I want you guys also to try some other things. So, um, after you have all of your supplies that you guys are going to use, I want you to lay your paper down on top of that paper towel, okay, so that we're not getting any of this stuff onto your table. You're going to lay your paper down, and then I want you guys to use whatever circle you have so to trace with. So, you could use the top of a cup, all right? I have a lid for a baby bottle, but you guys will use whatever you have. Um, just think about size-wise, though. I don't want it to be, you know, the size of the top of a water bottle. I want it to take up a lot of the page. You guys are going to be doing three circles, okay? And I want them spaced out on the page so that they really fill up most of that page. So I'm just going to do one on the top here. I'm trying to go around this little contraption that I built so that I could record this. So it's, just wanna make sure I don't mess up. Okay, so you're gonna do three circles and I'm kind of just spacing them out like this, staggering them so that they fill up the page. Um, for the size I did, if I did three in a row, they would take up too much space on one side. Okay. So now that you have your circles down, um, I want you guys to go ahead and take your utensil, whatever it is that you're going to be painting with. Okay, I'm going to do the paprika first. So all I did for this was I just add the paprika into the container. Okay, sorry. Okay, and then you're going to add a little bit of that water from your clear water. And really just add a couple drops, okay, into there. So what you end up wanting is this really thin paste. So not watery, right? You still want it to be a paste, but you don't want it to be too thick where it's not laying out right. So you want this paste, okay? You're gonna start on the bottom of the circle and you're just going to cover that bottom, right? So remember when we did this with our pencils, right? When we did our spheres, okay? You wanna go lighter on top. So what I'm doing is I'm just rinsing off my Q-tip in the water and I wanna get a lighter value. That's still not as light as I want it to be, so I'm gonna rinse it again. Try it here. Now that's pretty light, right? So you wanna make that circle at the top. Remember where the reflection of the light would hit? And then you can start going in and adding a little bit more of your value, 
okay? So if you need it lighter, put your Q-tip or whatever you're using in the water just a little bit, all right, until you come up. Smooth it out, right? How do we smooth it out to make sure that it blends good? You add a little bit more water and just smooth it, right? So on the bottom, I can just go in and add a little bit more of that dark value. Okay, so it really kind of makes it pop out. All right, so that's the first one. That's paprika and just showing you with the spices, you wanna kind of create this paste first, then add a little bit of the water. Um, I'm gonna do the food coloring. That's, if you guys have some, this might be the easiest one. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna change out my water. Okay, so I don't use the one that had paprika in it. All right, so I'm just sticking this in here, okay, covering the bottom. Now take your time with it. I'm just trying to kind of hurry through so that this video is not too long for you guys. Okay, but you guys take your time when you're doing it, please. All right, that's still not as light as I really want it to be, so I'm just going to, there we go, add a little bit more water until I get that right value that I want. Okay, and you can go ahead and fill in the whole thing with that light value, all right, and then start blending in some of the dark in with it. Okay, and you're just gonna move your way up just like with watercolor, especially with this food coloring, if it's wet still, it's the best time to blend it. All right. So that's the food coloring. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna show you is the tea. All right, so this is using black tea. I'm gonna go on the bottom and show you guys. It's my baby in the background here. Oh yeah. Okay, so you're gonna use the black tea. Um, I don't actually have to add water to it because it is really light, all right? Unless you can steep it and get it a little darker. Um, mine's just kind of, it turned out pretty light. So with this one, you'll have to go in and once it dries a little bit, add more of the tea. Okay, so I don't wanna get the paper too wet, so I'm not gonna go and actually get the value that I would want the end result of, all right? But if you go back in once it's dry, you should get a pretty good looking sphere with your values, all right? So after this step, after you have your three spheres down and you have your different values, um, I'm gonna show you an example that I finished earlier, okay? I want you to label it. So you have your three spheres, you used your three different values with your three ingredients, I want you to label what you did so that I can see it, all right? And then um, I want you to upload it once I put the assignment on. So um, with this, just I wanna point out real quick, the sugar crystals, it kind of turned into, I did it, I let it, the water soak overnight. So it turned into this kind of gel. That's how I got that real dark value there. So if you have those sprinkles, the sugar crystals, um, I would actually just let it sit overnight in the water and then it would be the best to work with it then. All right, I just wanna show you guys this example one more time of all the different things that you could do. If you have any more ideas, anything really that will pull the color out by adding water, you can use that. Um, I will be uploading this onto Teams, the image of this so that you guys can see, but um, have fun with it. I wanted it to be something that is different than pencil drawings in your sketchbook, right? So really kind of experiment, see what you can use, and have fun. All right, guys.